Free the nipple. Free the nipples. Free the nipple. 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 So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say feminism? Um, free the nipple, probably. You know, a guy can go to the beach topless and no one bats an eyelid and a girl does it and it's like the end of the world, so. Feminism. A word that is becoming more commonly used in today's society. But what exactly is it? Free the Nipple is a concept which began in 2014 after Linda Esco film Free the Nipple and is most identifiable with feminism. Today we explore what Free the Nipple means and how it's perceived in our society today. We sat down with self-proclaimed feminist Katie Swan and asked her just what is feminism and how Free the Nipple fits in. Um, so to you, what does feminism and being a feminist mean? There are two kinds of feminists. There are people who believe in equality and then there are like active feminists who actually live out those beliefs in everyday life so they're like fighting for it and being vocal about it but definitely it's about equality of both genders not just females dominating men which can sometimes I think get a bit mixed up. What are your thoughts on the free the nipple concept and how exactly does free the nipple tie in with feminism? It ties into feminism in the fact that if a man can walk down the street and be bare chested, then a woman should be able to do exactly the same thing. So there shouldn't be a double standard. Um, but that being said, there's so much stigma around the female body. Do you think the free the nipple concept needs to be better accepted within society? Definitely. To some people, bearing or exposing their body is empowering and to other people hiding their body is empowering. Our breasts are more than just a symbol of sex, you know, they, they give life, we're more than just one thing. We attended a Free the Nipple picnic and spoke to participants Erin Hipwell and Mercy Bass to get a better idea of what Free the Nipple is. What makes events like this appealing to you? Firstly, just um, the opportunity to kind of express something that I'm really passionate about and that I believe in and also um, they draw heaps of like publicity and attention and I think that really gives like the wider public like the opportunity to learn about a subject they might not normally and understand it as well. Do you think the public including males need to be better educated about the reasons behind Free the Nipple in order for the subject to be criticised less? where all negativity about it stems from is just people not being educated. We spoke to Justin Haynes to get a male perspective on the subject. So what do you think is the purpose of the Free the Nipple movement? Yeah, so basically I think there's sort of two sides to the Free the Nipple movement. One being that um, it's just the equality between men and women, um, which is sort of the belief that I have. But there's another movement that sort of seems there's quite a bit of anger towards mainstream men and the media perceiving um, women is sort of in a bad way, which I don't necessarily think is too productive for, for the movement itself, for feminism in general as well. Would you say that allowing women to freely expose their breasts in public and social media is something that is achievable in the future? Personally, I hope that, yeah, maybe one day that could be achieved. Sort of now with men walking down the street without their shirts off, most people would have the belief that sort of they're being stupid maybe in the future when women can do that. I think same sort of things put on them by the mainstream public. Feminism. Free the nipple. Phrases which in today's society are becoming more commonly used. While there are many differing opinions on the matter, it is clear that it is a subject which raises mass discussion among society. But at the end of the day, it's all about equality.